Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. This is a 2005 Duckworth. This is when they made these boats. We did some minor changes through the years, got rid of the carpet, stuff like that. But these had a lot of like foam insulation in them, foam, or foam, flotation, foam flotation. There you go, slow down there, boat doctor. Anyway, then we did away and made a motor well instead of the box back there. But these were so quiet and these can take some rough water they got a shallow deck anyway this is a repower with his used 90 on it i leave the profits on it uh it does really good it doesn't uh, blow out or uh, hits a rev limiter it doesn't hit that uh it's got plenty of power about two three seconds two and a half three seconds to plane so that's pretty close to being propped right i'm afraid if you go down and pitch it may uh hit the rev limiter so i would maybe just leave that alone uh, other than that, the uh, nice boat, he just needs a uh, little fixing here and there. But as far as our job, uh, the lower slides, I mean, it's not leaking back there when we did the motor. Uh, but they should be siliconed, the lower bolt holes. You know, that way you're pretty much sure it ain't going to leak, but it's not leaking. So, but this handle here, uh, it's on its way. So, if one time you may be out there, is something I'd probably get looked at if I was you. You probably... I'm pretty sure just uh, did the motor and didn't uh, go with the new control box. But when they're this low, you can hear them kind of clunking once in a while. All of a sudden, this thing could break. And then you're out there and can't get it in gear. Well, you can, but you just got to take the cowling off. Uh, hey, there's a good a tip. Take the cowling off and where this shift cable goes back, there's a slide. If that ever happened to you, you can either go forward or reverse or neutral just by sliding it. Um, throttle same thing someone could actually hold the throttle or you put something in there to hold it to get you back if that ever happened i'm just saying uh on any boat so other than that now we're going to show you how it runs just it fired right up runs really good it's uh, just the right amount of power on this boat so you're going to see how it kind of clicks like that it's supposed to but uh you'll hear it sometimes when i hit it so in the future that's something to look at so and we're going to turn it around like this and there's a boat there, so I'm going to go this way so I don't screw with any of the fishermen out here. Nobody behind me. Okay, so make sure it's trimmed down, and this pedometer tag, of course, don't work. So, get here. job on installing it real quiet and then low gear just put in gear see how long it and then I went through the throttle ranges like I go a thousand every time 500 to a thousand like this to see if there's any hesitation between that and there wasn't so you got a winner all right good boat very quiet like you say watch this through my own wakes. Which it doesn't put out a lot. Trim it down. 